Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a braided tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm obsessed with braids, especially this time around. I'm going to call this my loop braid simply because you can see each individual loop here, as you can see. So I am super, super in love with this braid. Um, I've worn it twice already and people I get so many compliments from it I think it's so flattering and so feminine and I think it's also so different than your average normal uh, regular braid and then your normal fishtail braid so it's a little different I think it's so cute it goes really well with these cute little crop tops and all so yeah so if you guys want to learn how to get this loop braid then just keep watching thanks guys just some materials you need or might want to have in hand um you're gonna need some elastics you're gonna need some shaping spray or some type of hairspray to just kind of lock your hair in you're gonna need some scissors we're not cutting hair though you're gonna want a brush and a teasing comb if you want to tease your hair a little bit which i did if not you don't need that but it's really really simple your hair out my hair is long it goes like it's like the tips are barely like halfway at my boob but um, I'm sure you can and if you have short hair you guys that's okay just use some type of extensions I think it's perfectly fine we'll be using extensions because that is what I used the last time when I did this look so these are just from Sally the Beauty store um, in case you guys are curious you want to just give your hair a parting this is where my parting is just kind of a little more to the right instead of being halfway and then I'm just going to bring everything to one side now I am braiding on the side that my bangs are now as you can see you can either leave this flat which it will be flat but I really do like big hair I don't really like flat hair so I'm going to take some dry shampoo I'm going to take this one here I'm just going to very quickly and lightly I'm going to just spray some on here and then I'm just going to tease a little bit. Careful that you don't grab your extension. And then we're just doing regular normal teasing, as you can see. And when you do spray dry shampoo before you tease, it is such an enormous help. It makes my teasing time or whatever is so much easier or makes my hair easier to tease. So Now I'm just basically going to tease all around the crown of my head where I want volume. That way it's not so down. Bring it all to one side. And then I have already uh, kind of given, teased my hair a little bit so it's not so flat down. So I'm just going to take a little bit of shaping powder that is leaking for whatever reason. And then I'm just going to take one of the hair elastics we said we would need. These little guys. And I'm just going to bring all of my hair to the side. I want to braid it. And then I'm going to put the hair elastic right close to my ears. So I'm just going to, as if I were doing a hair or a ponytail, is what I'm doing here. My elastic's not going to be that strong because I have pretty thick hair here now. So then what you want to do, it is so, so simple. I swear I can't, I just can't stress it to you guys. This is so, so easy. You will get it in like a blink, honestly. So I'm going to put another one just in case. I'm just going to push it all the way up there. What I'm going to do here is just part this little pony into two even sections and then once you do that we're going to this is going to meet section one and section two so I'm going to start off with section one I'm going to be taking about medium sized sections so this section here would not work so that's why I put some hair extensions in because most of my hair is not layered out it's not that long so I'm just going to take uh, a piece from section two, I mean section one, I'm going to 
put it over section one, and I'm going to hold it here and create a loop. And then here I'm going to put it under section two, bring it over and loop it into that hole we created, and then just pull it back where to the section it came from. So just like that, and then you get a little loop like this. So we're going to be alternating sides, so now we're going to go on to section two. You're going to take a piece just like the other one, and then all you're going to do is just take that, bring it over section two, make a loop, bring it under section one, put it through the hole, and pull it back to the section it came from, so section two, and then you just want to pull this on tightly, because if not, it's going to get super, super loose like it is to me right now, which this is my fault, of course, but, so you want to hold this tightly because it can get loose super, super easy. So back to section one, you're just going to take a piece again, like a medium-sized piece, and you're just going to put it over section one, create a loop with your finger like this, pull it under section two and bring it just through that hole and pull it back to section one and then like I said just keep pulling your hair tightly tightly yes I have little loose hairs here and there but that's fine this is what your should braid this is what your braid should look like when you're done so as you can see I have not stretched it out I would have kept going but the more I found myself that the more I got to the ends I wouldn't have long pieces anymore and it was just kind of coming apart so I just decided to come up here but you have much longer than hair than yes keep going it will look so much cuter so this is why I call it the loop you can see every individual loop which is what I love so then this hair tie up here that is holding it are going to cut it so just be careful not to cut your hair. This will bounce off though. Huh? Ouch. And it just makes it so much more loose. It makes it look so much more natural. I have a bobby pin here. But this makes it look so much more natural now. So it is loose from here. And then if you want to make this even more natural, I just like kind of pulling a little bit and tugging a bit on the loops here just so they get more spread it out. And they look just so beautiful, which is why I said if you guys have longer hair, then do keep going to when you feel like you just can't no more. And then this is your finished braid. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Now that your braid is completed, all you want to do is just spray your hair down one last time and your braid. And I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful braid. It's so lovely. I just love it. Did enjoy this braided tutorial and I'm going to call this my loop braid. Um, or whatever is down below as the title. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, uh, like, hair tutorials or braided tutorials, then be sure to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I will be doing more. If you guys have any special requests, then let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you